Today, you'll discover the truth. And you'll discover the superpower of reading micro-expressions. You'll discover the truth about your clients, about your business partners, about your relationships, because you will be able to read what's really happening with them, reading their faces. So there's no turning back. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Great. Let's first cover what are micro-expressions. And the definition is the following. These are very subtle movements of half a second or shorter of the facial muscles. Many people say or read somewhere that they're proof of line, but it's actually not. They're not proof of line. They're just signals of emotions and can be used in a reliable way to detect lies. What you'll learn today is pure science. What you're going to discover inside microexpression training videos, which is the program that we're covering today, is over 300 videos of real life situations where you can see and detect those microexpressions. You'll be able to train with them at various speeds, even slow motion in the beginning, which is useful, of people listening, showing microexpressions, muted videos, speaking videos, everything even in 4K quality. And you'll have a lot of opportunities to exercise with those. And we'll cover also how to distinguish microexpressions from conversational signals. So the usual signals that people send with their faces. How to make that difference between a real microexpression and just moving eyebrows upwards when somebody is accentuating something. Why is it useful? Well, for all areas where you meet and talk to people, which includes sales, coaching, training, management, recruitment, leadership, public speaking, negotiations, well, all face-to-face -face conversations, there you will see those micro expressions of half a second or shorter. The purpose of this training is to discover your superpowers. One of those superpowers is being able to read those micro expressions because you'll be able to develop your empathy skills and we have shown also at Harvard University that every single person that goes through this program and scores above average on the microexpressions training video test, they increase their emotional intelligence with an average of 10%. And sales professionals who score above average on microexpression training videos, they sell on average 20% more products or services. Many times you have this gut feeling that there's something going on. You are in the middle of a business meeting and you just feel that there's something wrong, but you don't know what. So you can use your intuition and you can feel that you shouldn't sign this contract. But what we will do today, you will know exactly why. And you will know what's going on and when it started in the conversation. So what is great about it, that when you master the skills of reading microexpressions, you will be able to exactly notice when this negativity or you know, disagreement started and discuss it openly with your client. Maybe collaborate again, come back to, to the deal and have a better contract that is good for both sides. Yes, we're on a mission to bring humanity together. There is a lot of messy things going on out there wars, poverty, you name it. And by being able to communicate with more empathy, with more connection, with more love, we hope that it will empower people to become closer to each other, bring humanity together, discover their own superpowers to make a positive impact in the world. People are wearing masks. Yeah, they're wearing masks every day because it's easier, you know, you say good morning, you don't mean good morning, but you have to say good morning, you know, it's, it's a habit. But from the moment you discover what they really experience with their faces, it's like for a cold blind person to, to finally see colors. So you will see who they really are, what they do, and it's a really amazing skill. And that switch of seeing colors will happen today. So you're going to apply this mainly for your business conversations in daily meetings. And also it's very important to mention that our training is very values driven and for ethical communication, it's not the aim to sell more things that don't work in the end for persons. Mm -hmm. So we're on a mission to make a positive impact in the world. And these skills are very powerful. So actually you will be able to sell more, but to the people who really like your products, because you will see that they are excited about it.
Yeah. So you don't need to push sales, you will see who is your client and who is not. So you can spend less time on people, they are not attracted to what you do. Yeah. And spend time, more time with people who, who like your products, who really think that what you do is amazing. Happiness you can see on somebody's face when both lip corners go upward in a symmetric way, at the same time with an equal height. And that means that somebody feels a small pleasure, that they like what they hear or what they see. It's a green light in negotiations, in sales. This is the sign you should look for. Second emotion that we're going to cover today is contempt. Contempt means a feeling of superiority. And you can see contempt on somebody's face when only one lip corner goes upwards. In happiness, it was symmetrical, the face. Here, only one of the lip corners goes upwards. So imagine that you would like to buy a second-hand car, a really nice car, and the salesperson tells you, oh, this is a car for you, and you see a contempt. So, this would mean that there's some secrets, you know, about the car that you don't know. So probably it's good for him to sell you the car, but maybe not for you. So be aware of this sign. Next emotion we're going to cover is disgust. How do you see disgust on the face? Well, when you see the wrinkles around the nose appearing. The eyebrows go down as well. But the most important part that distinguishes disgust from all the other micro-expressions is the wrinkles around the nose. It means that you're trying to close your olfactory ways, you're trying to close your nose without using your hands. Imagine for a moment that you open your fridge and there's a cheese that was there for three months and it's completely greenish, I know, and very uh, awful taste. So we all do the micro-expression of disgust right now. Yes. <laughs> And it can happen with your clients that they also show disgust. It would have a slightly different meaning. It could mean, for example, that they don't like something about what, what you are saying about the delivery of a product. They don't want this to deliver in some locations, so they will show disgust instead of telling you this. Many times we want to be polite and nice, so we don't want to show negative emotions, so we don't want to show that we don't like something. And disgust, this is a feeling that is normally stronger than us because it comes from our limbic system, it's very quick, and um, it will tell you what people really experience. If they, for example, don't like the sandwich that you prepared, they will show you this. If they don't, don't like the color you choose for the living room <laughs> when you are designing the interior, they will show it to you. And this would be a very polite way how you will know something about them that they don't want to tell you. You're actually then reading people's minds, what they feel, what they think. That's why micro-expressions are the most reliable signs of what somebody truly feels. And maybe right now you are thinking, oh my god, how I can distinguish those, you know, like subtle micro-expressions, they are so short, you know. And I would say this is like with driving a car. Probably you remember the first moment you get into your car, you know, the first car, and uh, there were a lot of things to do. There was a traffic, there were signs, traffic signs on the streets. Uh, you had to make sure that, uh, that you know how to use all the gear in the car and to focus on the way and to know where you are exactly going. So it was difficult. Now you can do it on autopilot and you can at the same time do other stuff in your car, whatever it is having a conversation, uh, hopefully use your uh, earplugs, you know, for that. <laughs> Drink your coffee and, and other things, and you are fine. So this will happen with you when you learn how to read microexpressions. At the beginning, it will be hard. And then it's like adding new channels to your communication, to your vision. You'll be able to do it like this. Actually, what you'll discover is that you're going to develop like a voice in your head, like a little voice in your head that whispers what people feel, what people think, that you wouldn't otherwise see or be aware of. And that's a very strong superpower, this kind of voice in your head, right? Yes. Because it's, it enhances your intuition. Yes. 